Hi, so this is just completely impromptu. I'm, I'm on holidays at the moment. I'm making a lot of stuff, a lot of experiments. One of them is multi-threading. I've just been playing around with my CPU renderer and I got something kind of cool. So let me run this. Now it's not meant to be <laughs> running like that with the scan line, but um, the idea is, yeah, doing multi-threaded rendering and um, passing it off, passing the rendering work off to some background threads. So as we can see on the side here, CPU usage, it's maxed out at a certain level because I'm just using one thread. As you can see, there's just one scan line. Well, oh yeah, and also the synchronization, it's not quite working yet. That'll I'll polish this code up, get it working and feature it in a future video. But um, where was I? Okay, so this is using one thread. We can use two threads. And there we have it. We have sort of, as we can see down below, we have increased our CPU usage, but the program is running <laughs> a little weird. But um, it's running a little better, I guess. And we can put more threads. I can do this forever. Actually, no, there's a limit to it. But yeah, four threads. There we go. We're doing some stuff. We're updating. And as you can see, our CPU usage is going up. So it's kind of funky. Okay, fair enough. Well, um, let's take it to its logical conclusion. There is a function here which indicates the maximum number of threads that we can run. So we'll just subtract one from that because we have our main thread plus our worker threads. And there we have it. And if we look at the CPU usage, now we are able to pretty much use all of our CPU power. It's actually crashed the debugger. Oh no. Um, but yeah, it's working pretty well. Looks kind of funky. Yeah, so I need to get the data sharing working properly so that I can properly synchronize the frame operations. But uh, yeah, this is multi-threaded CPU rendering. And I just wanted to share this because I thought it was cool. Thought it was very cool. But anyway. Yeah, that's it. Have a good one. See ya.